Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're gonna do in today's time is we're gonna talk red baits. What is it about these red baits that excites fish at certain times on the water when nothing else seems to get bit? Stick with me and we're gonna jump right into it. So what makes this color pattern, this red or this orange hue so good, it seems, in the springtime? Well, I'm gonna start by saying that I think it's a color that can work year round. There's a lot of different theories on why and when and how red works. Uh, most of it has to do around with crawfish and how they molt. Um, you know, guys say that crawfish molt in the spring. Actually, they molt four to six times a year, the way I understand it. So that's something they, they're going to do year round um, until they reach maturity. And then they're going to have different color hues as they go through that molting process. A lot of times when they molt, that soft shell can be a reddish hue. It depends on where you're at in the country, uh, what type of crawdad. And then also the water temperature plays on it a lot too. But I will have to say during those months, say March, through into May, uh, I catch a lot of nice fish. Like say, for example, on this spinner bait, this is one that I like to throw when the water is off colored after those spring rains. And that's something we get a lot, obviously in the spring is rains. A lot of that runoff clouds up the water. It makes it stained, it makes it muddy. And I think that is definitely a time when red baits shine. So we talked for a second there about the crawfish molting process. You know, these crankbaits here, whether it be a lipless crankbait or this square bill or a perfect crawfish imitator, uh, as well as it doesn't seem like it as much, but this spinnerbait can do the same thing as well as this chatterbait. But I think personally, as, when it comes to fishing the color red, number one, it's a color, like I say, it works year round. Uh, but it, it has its applications. I always like to throw it when the water conditions are stained to muddy. Um, and I also like to throw it anytime those post frontal conditions, because uh, usually post frontal conditions mean we've had some rain or we've had some wind or we've had both and it clouds up the water, stir things up. And I think a lot of times that's when the crawfish are a little more active, but I also think it's a time uh, when those bass push up after in the shallows a little bit um, and start searching for food and crawfish is one of the forage that they find. So I have always found that on cloudy days, and if you look at this footage here, this was a day uh, that it had rained the day before. We on the second day of a front, you can see it's real cloudy, but I was throwing this uh, red crawl pattern, orange crawl pattern spinner bait and did really, really well. Picked up three, four nice fish that day uh, fishing that particular bait. So this was the spinner bait I was throwing that day. It's a Strike King uh, tour grade spinner bait, half ounce. But I'll tell you what, the last probably three years, I've done really, really well on this bait. Uh, I've caught a number of fish in the four to seven pound class on it, uh, especially March through May. Um, and I'm normally throwing it like I showed in that video as far as post frontal conditions or in this video here um, the conditions were a little bit different as far as uh, the overcast skies versus partly cloudy things like that but the water clarity uh, in this was a little bit stained and we had had storms the day before and the day I was fishing this particular uh, lake it was really really windy I mean we had 20 to 30 mile an hour gust but I did really well caught a one that was six and three quarter one that was uh, about four and a quarter all off of this spinner bait um, in those type of conditions. So we're back to what works best for this color red, you know, and, and I think once again, it's, it's those days when you have those post frontal conditions, a lot of wind either the day before or the day of, and you've got that rain mixed in. So you've got poor water clarity, which is a good thing uh, for fishing red. I think you've got, post frontal conditions, which once again is a good thing. And I think another thing uh, that makes this color shine too is water temperature. Um, I've, I catch them sometimes uh, during the warm weather on it, but in the spring and the fall, when you've got that water temperature, say below 70 degrees, uh, red always seems to do better for me. Now you guys may have a different uh, take on that. If you do, leave me some comments down below. Uh, like I say, cause there's been some days uh, during the warm weather during the summertime when I couldn't get bit for anything and throw a red color pattern on whatever type bait that I'm throwing. And all of a sudden I start to pick up bites. So I think a lot of that has to do with crawfish and their molting cycle. You know, if they're, if they're molting four to six times a year, um, I think that 
though obviously the, the, the exoskeleton, the shell color on them changes somewhat, and you're going to get times when the, the red and the orange color shine versus times when you're like your black and your blue uh, colors shine more, or even those blue and purple kind of brownish hues too, um, because they'll, all, they'll go through all those different cycles with their exoskeleton and what it looks like. Show you guys one more short clip here, and the reason I'm showing it to you guys, it has everything we're looking for as far as post front conditions. Um, it has stormed the night before, it's still overcast skies, wind 12 to 15 miles an hour, the water slightly off colored. I decided to bank fish this for an hour or two that day because I didn't have time to get the boat out. And I end up sticking this really nice fish here on a Strike King red eye shad in Delta crawl pattern. I'd switched over to it after fishing a Ned rig and a, a small chatter bait for a while and picked up some fish, quite a few fish, actually smaller ones. But I think switching to this color pattern and obviously this bait is what helped me land this fish here, which ended up being six pounds five ounces so a really nice fish and, and a really nice one to catch from the bank too so uh pretty cool but i think it's just if you switch things up i think these are the type of things that can happen for you so i would say as a general rule of thumb when do i start throwing these red baits well it's those factors we just talked about kind of combined i'm looking for a front or post front conditions i'm looking for wind usually overcast but not so much the, the the sky conditions as it is those post front conditions and what is the water clarity like i want it at least stained to maybe like say the consistency of iced tea to even muddy uh, like chocolate milk or coffee those are times i'm definitely i don't care what time of year it is i'm going to throw uh, this type of bait this colored bait it doesn't matter what you're throwing whether it's a crankbait a chatterbait a spinnerbait uh, that's when I'm going to throw those red hues. I want those post front conditions. And when I've got those post front conditions, what I'm looking for too is that wind. And when I'm looking for the wind, I'm looking for those runoffs. I'm looking for the creeks or the ditches that are running in. All those type of areas where normally uh, you'll find crawfish too. And you know, when you're out there fishing, make sure for you, you look for those little crawfish mounds. Uh, you see a lot of crawfish mounds. Uh, usually that's going to be a, a good indicator. There's a, there's a healthy population of crawfish and that's somewhere that you're going to want to start throwing this colored bait. I always start with a bright color bait that doesn't produce, then I'll work my way down to a kind of a mid hue and then uh, to a, a more natural darker hue. But uh, these bright color baits and, you know, I, I've caught them on it too when it was just gin clear water. But it, it's a bait when I've got post front conditions. That's what I keep harping on that I'm always going to start out throwing uh, that color in whatever type of bait I'm fishing uh, to see how it works and let the fish tell me what they want. Guys, I hope you got something out of today's video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully that gives you an idea of when to throw these red color hues. I suggest anytime you think that might work, give it a try because you just never know. But I think there's definitely times that this red color hue will just outshine all the others for sure. I'll leave some links down in the description below for some of these baits if you want to check them out. I'll also, um, down below, you'll find I have a new merchandise store through Fourth Wall. You can get shirts just like this one here, all different colors and sizes. New hats embroidered with the Blue Line Fishing logo on front and Blue Line on the back and other merchandise as well. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, until that next video, Get out there and fish.